Last year, 3.4 million people died from a water-related disease. Last year, 14 billion pounds of garbage were dumped into the ocean. Last year, 100,000 sea mammals were killed by pollution. Each day, an American taking a five-minute shower uses more water than a person in a developing country slum uses for an entire day. Each day, 780 million people lack access to clean water. That's more than two and a half times the United States. Each day, 50 to 100 species of animals and plants are driven extinct by human influences. Pollution is one of the biggest global killers, affecting over 100 million people. Americans make up 5% of the world's population. However, the U.S. produces 30% of the world's waste and uses 25% of the world's resources. Each year, 1.2 trillion gallons of untreated sewage, stormwater, and industrial waste are dumped into U.S. water. Exploitation of resources, pollution, and waste. As you just watched, these are the three top environmental issues impacting the world today. These issues affect our ecosystem, our economy, and our people all around the globe. So, how do these issues affect UW-Whitewater? We'll answer that in just a minute. First, let's answer an important question. What does sustainability mean? Sustainability is based on a simple principle. Everything we need for our survival and well-being depends on our natural environment. Sustainability is important to make sure that we have, and will continue to have, the water, the materials, and the resources to protect our human health and our environment now and for future generations. From our student government to residence halls to dining halls and student organizations, we have had students and faculty for many years that have been extremely engaged in environmental action. That's what makes UW-Whitewater's support for sustainability so strong. We are approaching it from different angles and involving the entire campus. Whitewater is embracing many different facets to become more sustainable. Through buildings and campus operations, student organizations, and academics, all different areas are being influenced by this movement. Let's go over a few things UW-Whitewater is improving to be more sustainable for the future. LEED certification, also known as leadership in energy and environmental design, is a certification program that scores how green a building is. Buildings are rated on standards from categories like water conservation, energy consumption, green design innovations, and indoor environmental quality. Laurentide Hall and Sterren Hall are both LEED certified. Some buildings like Highland Hall are not currently LEED certified, but have numerous energy efficiency measures that make them more sustainable than older buildings. However, our older buildings, like the low-rise residence halls, are being renovated in the near future to become as energy and water efficient as possible. Dining Services has also jumped on the sustainability bandwagon. Chartwells has worked with UW-Whitewater to purchase local food whenever possible. They provide discounts for people who use reusable coffee mugs, have reusable takeout containers available in select locations, and even use reusable bags for catering events. The disposable cups and lids used in many locations are also compostable, which means they can be easily integrated into a composting program. Plus, these cups and lids are more environmentally friendly than styrofoam. Reducing overall food waste and water use is a primary goal of dining services, so they've gone trayless in most dining areas. They also run an awareness campaign called Project Clean Plate, which encourages students to only take the amount of food that they will be consuming. If students successfully reduce their food waste, Dining Services makes donations to the Whitewater Food Pantry. When dining halls have food that isn't served or eaten, don't worry, it doesn't go to waste. Pre- and post-consumer waste is ground up and sent to local water treatment facility and anaerobically digested to make into fertilizer for local farmers. Chartwells and Whitewater have even achieved green restaurant certification for Willie's 360, the first institutional restaurant to achieve the honor in the state of Wisconsin. They accomplished this by implementing LED lighting and Ecolux lighting, using Energy Star certified appliances, and utilizing water-saving fixtures. Drumlin Dining Hall uses fluorescent lighting and dishwashers that save as much as 75% of the overall water consumption compared to older models. Now these dining locations are more energy and water efficient. Whitewater also recently purchased new recycling and garbage bins. They're located outside all the residence halls as well as within many academic buildings. 
We have seen our recycling rate increase every year since 2005, thanks to the convenience of more bins. Special recycling is also offered in the UC near the Info Services Desk. You can drop off your used batteries, old cell phones, and empty printer cartridges. Many types of electronic recycling are also available to residence hall students at the front desk of each hall. Make sure you recycle and landfill the correct things. Some examples of things you should recycle are glass bottles and jars, any kinds of metal cans, milk cartons, or newspapers. Some things you should send to the landfill include styrofoam, solo cups, wax-coated items, and food-contaminated items. You can learn about properly recycling tons of items like batteries, cell phones, light bulbs, and more by visiting uww.edu sustainability. Most students don't know this, but on the roof of Highland Hall, there are 144 individual solar panels. These panels were installed in 2010 and generate enough electricity to power nearly five average homes in Wisconsin. On campus, the panels reduce 1 to 5 percent of Highland's overall electricity load. This number really puts into perspective how much energy our buildings on campus actually use, even if they are built to be energy efficient. When you go outside at night, you've probably noticed the majority of our campus is lit by LED lighting. These bluish white lights have reduced the amount of energy from the previous lights by over 50 percent. These lights last longer, require less maintenance, and improve clarity at night for increased safety. Special water bottle refilling stations were implemented in campus buildings beginning in 2012. By using a reusable water bottle, you can save tons of money and reduce your amount of plastic consumption. These water bottle refilling stations let you quickly fill up your water bottle before class. The water feature right outside the UC in Highland Hall isn't just for looks. The water is collected from stormwater on the Highland Hall roof. Rather than using fresh city water supply, the water feature uses this reclaimed water. Also, the plants living in and around the water feature are native plants and help absorb the rainwater. The nature preserve located at the north end of campus is over 100 acres of prairie, woodland, and marsh. This area was once a farmer's field, so the natural landscape was disturbed many years before it became federally protected green space. Beginning nearly 20 years ago, the campus has continued restoring this area to a native habitat by planting tall grass prairie species. Dozens of acres have already been restored and each fall hundreds of students volunteer with the seed collection to help expand our restoration efforts. Volunteering in the prairie is also a great way to get community service hours. The campus garden was established in the spring of 2013 next to Ambrose Health Center as part of a service learning class focused on creating more vibrant local food systems. During the first year at the garden, we cultivated nearly 1,500 square feet and saw hundreds of pounds of produce donated to the Whitewater Food Pantry. In the coming years, the garden team hopes to significantly increase in size and provide more local food to students in the dining halls and the community through the food pantry. Additionally, there are plenty of volunteer opportunities and workshops to learn more about gardening. In order to explain and educate students on the Whitewater campus about sustainability, an initiative was created and implemented on campus called the UW Whitewater Earth Initiative. This initiative has three main components. The first component is social. We need to bring students, faculty, staff, and the community together in an interactive and engaging environment. The second component is sensible. Sensible means making the right choices on both a personal and community level in order to improve our environment. And the third and final component is sustainable. Sustainable means bringing everyone together, making the right choices, and having a true long-term impact here on our campus and in our community. Representatives of the Earth Initiative can be seen around campus promoting sustainable events, educating students through interactive games, and communicating through their social media channels. To learn more, check out the Earth Initiative on Facebook by searching sustainable underscore UWW. They post tons of sustainable tips and inform students about events. Also check out their Twitter handle at sustainable underscore UWW or their blog found at blogs.uww.edu slash sustainability. The UW Whitewater Earth Initiative. Social. Sensible. Sustainable. Psst. I'm going to tell you a secret. Being sustainable can save you a ton of money. If you live off campus, being more conscious of the resources you're using in your house or apartment can save you money on your monthly bills. Try turning off the water while brushing your teeth. 
Cut down on the time in your daily shower or turn down the heat and air conditioning. If you live on campus, try doing a clothing swap with your floor mates or make a trip to Goodwill. Or when eating at Esker or Drumlin, only take the amount of food on your plate that you know you will eat. Also realize that even though you aren't paying a monthly electric bill now, in the future you will have to. So start the good habit now. There are tons of other ways for students to save money. Instead of wasting gas, do things like biking or walking. You can even bring a reusable coffee mug to places like Willie's 360 and get a discount on your daily coffee. Being sustainable now will ensure that future generations will be able to live happy and comfortable lives like you and I are now. Imagine not having the resources most of us take for granted like clean air or water. Now that we learned all about the benefits of being sustainable, let's see how you as an individual can make an impact. Being a part of the sustainable movement is a ripple effect. If you embrace a sustainable lifestyle and you make small changes in your daily life, you are making a difference. It may seem small to you, but in reality, the impact is tremendous. Imagine if your friends notice your sustainable changes and they start doing the same thing. Then their friends start doing the same thing. That's a big difference, and it all started from you. The world is a big place, and we know you're just one person. But if you make small changes in your daily life to be more sustainable, you can make a huge difference. Imagine what we could do if our campus came together to embrace and support this movement. Knowledge is the first step. Find out what you're passionate about. Go out and research it, learn about it, and create action. Get people excited to be sustainable. You can make a huge impact on your friends, family, community, and campus. It all starts with you. What will you accomplish?